Hello there fellow model makers and welcome to the fourth and last part of our Meng 172nd scale F102A Delta Dagger build. Our kit is nearing completion and we have just some finishing touches to apply. So without wasting any more time, let's get on with it. I start off by masking the trimming on the canopy, which needs to be painted yellow. As always, I mask the straight lines with a masking tape while the rounded edges are masked with some liquid masking fluid. Once the liquid is dry, which takes only a few minutes, I spray on some Tamiya yellow, XF3. Now the same process on the other side. However, this time, I was a little careless with the paint and have sprayed paint on the exhaust intake on the other side. Luckily, this is not a big mistake to fix and I cleaned up the area of camera. Time to paint the missiles. These Maverick missiles are first given a coat of white paint. Once the paint is dry, the missiles are masked and the lower half is painted with XF7, flat red. I now pre-shade all the remaining parts of the kit, like the external fuel tanks. These parts are then painted with Vallejo's pale blue grey that was used for the main kit.
problem with the Maverick missiles was that they did not have an exhaust. So, I first took my hobby knife and marked the center of the exhaust best I could. Next, having established a toe hold, I used a drill bit to drill in the exhaust. After applying the decals, I had given the entire kit a couple of coats of gloss varnish. With the varnish now dry, it's time to give the kit a wash. My preferred method is to use oils for this. I took some black and brown oil paints and diluted them with turpentine. You can also use odorless spirit. This wash is then applied all over the kit. After I had let the kit dry for about half an hour, I took a clean paper towel and wiped away the extra wash. Since leaving a fingerprint is a real possibility at this stage, I used rubber gloves. Time to put together the landing gear. I start by giving the parts a black base paint. The smaller pieces are painted on the sprue. I also paint the wheels black at this stage. Next, I painted the parts with iridescent silver by Golden Acrylics. I use a template to paint the wheels. This makes life a lot easier.
The surface I felt could be smoother. So I took Tamiya's polishing compounds and rubbed them over the kit. Next, I used my polishing attachment on the hand drill to polish the surface. Right, time to start putting this kit together. Starting with the missiles. The wheel assembly was quite a challenge on this kit. There are a few very fiddly little pieces in the assembly and it took a lot of patience to finally glue these in place. The weapons bay flaps were glued in next. These two were rather difficult to glue in place. I switched to super glue for the more challenging pieces. The last piece to go on the kit was the nose pitot boom. But this was to prove to be a case of so close yet so far. The boom is white with red stripes, or is it red with white stripes? Whichever may be the case, painting the stripes on really proved difficult for me. I first tried masking the boom. I gave this up shortly as it was very difficult to get the masking tape to hold its shape. Hand painting the stripes was near impossible, and this approach too had to be abandoned. In the end, I finally resorted to masking one side of the boom at a time. I laid the boom down and then applied thin strips of tape across it. I first painted one side. Then, with the paint dry, I flip the boom over and mask the other side in the same fashion. The result perhaps was not spectacular, but it was good enough for the scale and my patience. I gave the entire kit a coat of matte varnish to bring down the shine on it. And here it is ladies and gentlemen. My take on Meng's 172nd scale F102A Delta Dagger. This kit is superbly designed and manufactured. The detailing on the kit is excellent. But it is not without its challenges. All in all, a very satisfying, even if a somewhat time and patience consuming build. I hope you like the build and the video series. Do like and subscribe and do come back for the next build. Till then, have a great time and good luck with your modeling projects.